hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is officially my last video of 2020 i can't believe we're almost done with 2020 see some of you are ready to just throw it out the way but i think that there's a lot to be grateful for in 2020 um and so definitely there's moments of 2020 that were really hard and difficult for me but there were other moments that i think i i, I I think I would be remiss if I'm not being grateful for it. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the best of beauty in 2020. And this is my personal opinion of what the best of beauty in 2020 was. My personal stamp of approval. So these products are my personal favorite of 2020 that were, to me, were game changers that were incredible and I'm very honest when it comes to my reviews and um I try and I've tried a lot of makeup over my and I've tried a lot of makeup over my lifetime guys so when I give you guys an, an opinion it is an honest opinion so these are um the products that made it to the best of 2020 uh to like Katie's best of 2020 and these are um a lot of these items launched in 2020, but some of these items did not launch in 2020, but were items that I personally tried for the first time in 2020. And so um, I can't wait to talk to you guys about my favorites. I decided that, so I've divided this video in two parts and I've divided into the best of beauty of 2020 drugstore version and the best of beauty of 2020 high-end version so let's get started with the best of beauty of 2020 drugstore version okay so let's start with eye products um this year ColourPop launched their um making moves uh collection and i got the um super shock shadows and these super shock shadows are so beautiful, guys. So gorgeous. Um, this one's day tripping and this one is bloomer. I'll link the video where I tried these on, tried these for you guys, and I did like a really nice makeup look. Um, these shadows, I love their super shock version. This is like this is like the one and done type of shadow if you're that way. If you're that like one and done type of gal this is this is like great for you and i just love i love mauves and i love some purples especially in the spring and this launched in the spring um and this actually made my quarantine because i think this was in the beginning of quarantine and so i was so excited when i got this in the mail so i like to depot my shadows and so i depotted um the making mauves palette and this is um these are the making moves shades they're so beautiful guys like they're in they they just look gorgeous um for that like ethereal they give you like that ethereal type of look so i loved it next palette i tried this year which i don't know if it came out this year or not but i tried it this year and this is the cover girl um true naked uh collection in the and this is in the palette of uh, roses so beautiful guys i just love mauve especially in the spring and even in the fall um and so i really loved these shades right here and they're actually pretty pigmented so this this was a really like great palette i'm so excited because um well as you know this is this was my first year with in uh creating my channel and i tried a lot of drugstore products i divided i've already divided everything into high-end and, and drugstore and <laughs> drugstore won in terms of like the amount of products that i tried this year from the drugstore and i'm excited because you know like i realized that you don't really need to break the bank like there's like incredible products in the drugstore I tried the bambi mascara by l'oreal this mascara is great like gives you those fluttery fluffy wispy lashes i loved it I got it in the uh, waterproof version and then I also um, loved the NYX Born to Glow um, concealer. It's a really nice like pigmented full coverage concealer. And I also liked 
okay this is like complexion slash eye product right um the pretty fresh the color pop color pop pretty fat jesus christ i can't talk the color pop pretty fresh concealer um this is such a really great concealer guys like it blends seamlessly it's it's full coverage too so i loved it i also like the nyx epic ink liner this is a really nice great pigmented uh liner talking about pretty fresh let's go on and talk about the my favorite complexion products from the drugstore and one of them was the pretty fresh tinted moisturizer loved it so much like it is so pigmented it is so um i've heard that the foundation is also good um but anyway this is guys like you especially i think the drugstore had like really well this is drugstore price right like drugstore products really made my quarantine because i felt like i found a lot of great tinted moisturizers that i could just put it on and do a quick look a really nice nice shadows that i could just do a quick look so i found like really amazing products that were great for just staying at home or if you want to do like a quick look for your zoom calls so this was a really great everyday product that i used a lot next great everyday product that i used a lot and discovered this year guys is the neutrogena um radiant tinted moisturizer oh my gosh like this is so like it gives you the perfect nice medium coverage this is great for every day and it just it feels so lightweight on the skin. It smells like sunscreen, but to me, it made me feel like nostalgic and good because it was like, it reminded me of the beach, you know? And so this is a great product that I enjoyed this year. Also, the um, Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is a dupe for, dupe for the All-in-One Glow uh, um tinted moisturizer by YSL in my opinion um I think this has like a great it has that similar glowy dewy effect and it just blends so seamlessly and it has a really nice coverage so I really enjoyed this up next up I want to say this is my favorite primer ever even like honestly compare even compared to high-end primers I tried it this year and I loved it. And this is the Prep and Correct Primer from Neutrogena. I just felt like it smoothed my pores. It just gave me the perfect canvas for me to put on before my foundation. I love this thing. And I think it beats my, I like it better than my high-end primers. Like this is a really good primer. The next two complexion products that I loved this year were the L'Oreal Infallible fresh uh the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation oh my gosh you guys like this foundation gives you the perfect coverage it makes your face look beautiful and like a little bit dewy not too much it's perfect and then my favorite full coverage foundation well it claims to be medium to buildable but to me it gives me the perfect coverage this is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I tried it. I was shopping at Ulta and Ulta had like a sale section and this was part of the sale section. And I'm, I was just like, oh, it's on sale. I wasn't thinking anything of it. This is amazing. And it's, oh, and it's HD too. So it's great to go on camera. It's great for pictures. I took it for my trip. I took it to my trip in Atlanta and it, I love I love this thing. It is so good. I'm wearing it right now. Like just one stroke and you're done. All right, the next complexion products that I tried this year were the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is a great powder. Like it just some people some people say that it's comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. I wouldn't describe it like that, but it is it was it's a great powder though. Like it really helps your your foundation complexion uh, lasts longer, your makeup lasts longer, and it smooths um, the any you know appearance of pores. The next powder that I tried, and this was a, a, from a recommendation from Ally Glines, 
and this is the wet and wild photo focus loose powder this is a great loose powder to bake it gives you that like hd look for for those uh you know if you want to go all glam this is a really good powder i also enjoyed the milani silky matte bronzer this is a great bronzer and i'm not gonna lie guys this was my first year trying um not milani products but uh the butter bronzer by physicians formula i don't know where it is i need to find it but oh my gosh that bronzer i would say that it's comparable to the charlotte tilbury air um bronzers because it, it just blends so seamlessly and beautiful and smells like the beach so i loved it and i love this one too also and then just to end in complexion about complexion products i loved the butter blush uh by physicians formula it just blends so seamlessly. This is in the shade Peachy Be Beachy Peach. And it just has like that great luminous effect. It's beautiful. I also loved this trio by Milani. It just had like, you know, it just had like great options for me. And these, I love these Revlon blushes. I tried it over quarantine. This is these are like the perfect i love like mauve blushes like these this is like the perfect this is rosy rendezvous this is the perfect blush for like spring or even fall and then this is like a darker mauve this is in the shade marvelous and this is in the shade oh baby pink like they are so pigmented these are more like matte blushes but they are so pigmented and beautiful like, again, you don't need to break the bank for a blush. Like, these are really great blushes. All right, and lastly, and lastly in the, um, and lastly, I want to talk about, um, I have a few skincare products. So, but before I talk about skincare, I want to talk about, uh, lip products. I tried a whole bunch of lip products from the drugstore, guys, with lip liners. I tried the LA Girl Ultimate Intense auto lip liners they guys these lip liners are so creamy they are so incredible so creamy they are so beautiful and i have them in the um color relentless red and keep it spicy and i also tried the milani uh color statement lip liners these are like the perfect nude lip liners i tried in the shade natural and in the shade the shade spice and these are very creamy too and i love the packaging you guys like they almost look like high end but anyway i loved these four lip liners from the drugstore stop let's talk about liquid liquid matte lipsticks um i discovered this brand from the drugstore called joa and i loved i think i mentioned it i mentioned it in my uh in one of my summer favorites and this um the packaging kind of reminds me of Too Faced or Dose of Colors. And I absolutely loved this shade. It's like the perfect blue tone red. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. This is like the perfect blue tone red. It is very pigmented. It's really good. And it was only like $5. Um, I also, um, I don't have it with me, but I also tried their glosses. Their glosses are really good too. Um next up i'm going to talk about the maybelline super stay matte ink liquid lipsticks guys oh my gosh these liquid lipsticks are amazing and i guess we tried it two red lipsticks from the drugstore okay so the first liquid lipstick that is my favorite and i tried it oh my gosh i feel like ali ali you're the reason why I shop for makeup. Like, um, this I tried it from, Ali recommended it, but I think she said that her subscribers recommended it to her. And this is the um, lipstick shade in Pioneer. It is the perfect, like, cherry red. Like, it is so gorgeous. It's the perfect cherry red perfect for the holidays i loved it i love it so much it is so beautiful i'm going to show you guys a picture on how it looks on gorgeous 
Um, I also tried uh, these, this one in Revolutionary. And you guys know how much I love mauve. Gorgeous mauve color. And then the last shade, which I'm wearing it right now, I'm wearing it underneath a gloss, is this nude lipstick in the shade Driver. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is like the perfect nude, perfect nude. It looks so beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks without the gloss. This is how it looks without the gloss. Like it looks incredible. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And I tried two lipsticks from Revlon that I absolutely loved. One of them is a nude lipstick and this is in the shade Pick Me Up. It's a gorgeous, like, nutmeg type of nude. And then I also tried it in the shade. Um, I also tried another shade in the shade Shameless. This is the perfect spicy. I wore it a lot this fall. I got so many compliments on this lipstick. One of my subscribers actually told me she went and got it because it is a gorgeous fall, like, warm, spicy lip color so i loved these matte lipsticks from revlon and they're so soft and creamy sticks that i absolutely love that are so soft and creamy are from l'oreal and these are the color riche matte lipsticks um i my favorite my favorite um i tried it too this year that i loved um one of my favorites is in all out pout which i couldn't find it for this video i'm sorry but um, I have the shade Daring Blush, but I have the shade Daring Blush. And it's like a beautiful mauve. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the perfect everyday type of mauve. Perfect for work. Just get like a nice mauve lip liner and this on top. And this on top, perfect. And it's like very creamy. And doesn't feel drying at all oh side note these on Maybelline liquid lipsticks are great but they do feel kind of drying however the pigment in these liquid lipsticks is amazing so if you can get past that you'll love it all right and the last two lip products that I tried this year that I loved are uh, two glosses. Um, I'm not a huge gloss fan, but this these glosses were amazing. The first one is the Keep It Full Lip Plumping Gloss from Milani in Champagne. Another recommendation from Allie. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is, you're gonna see how pigmented this is. This gloss is so pigmented. It This was the gloss that I was wearing before I removed it and, and show you guys how the lipstick looks on its own it is gorgeous actually i'm gonna put it on again just so you guys know how pigmented it, it looks on the lips look at that oh my god and it has this like tingly minty sensation i think it's because of the limp lip plumping effects so beautiful not that i need any lip plumping but i just love this shade and then the next gloss i think this is also a lip plumping gloss and this is the maybelline lifter gloss it kind of looks like the kkw beauty glosses packaging um but anyway it's so beautiful and i have it in the shade reef it's such a beautiful pigmented gloss like a peachy gloss and guys i am not a huge gloss fan but this during especially the beginning of quarantine i used to just throw in a gloss without lip liner just just a gloss because my lips just were feeling very dry and it's just glosses can be very hydrating you know i guess i prefer lipsticks um as opposed to a gloss when it comes to like wearing how I wear my makeup. 
but for like every day and just throw a gloss just to chill at home this these two glosses well this one's more for like i don't know i feel like this one i i wore it more for like like that glam look but the lifter glosses are incredible and they're similar like moisture and pigment to the fenty beauty gloss bombs so i would say this is a good dupe but in terms of packaging i guess it looks like the kkw beauty glosses and the last two products that i'm going to talk about with you guys are um skincare and makeup wipes <laughs> so this is i got it from sephora but this is four dollars so i think it's drugstore price this is the ordinary high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula guys this really cleared out my acne um it says you wear it before you're supposed to wear it before night and before night sorry before bed and in the morning before you put your moisturizer and everything you just put it on and let it dry this is really amazing i also lived for self-care products care products this quarantine and i loved this year i discovered tony moly and i love their sleeping mask i'm lav i love lavender it's so relaxing uh sleeping mask um mask and i also love their sheet masks they have like different types um they have i am lavender i'm honey i am aloe <laughs> uh their masks are really amazing and i also tried the avino oat mask with cucumber extract it smells so good almost hitting pan or tin or jar <laughs> however you want to call it um this is so hydrating and incredible you know like uh, it just it was made my skin so soft i loved it and it felt so relaxing um i discovered these wipes this year guys because i kind of like don't tell her but i kind of like when I visited my friend in LA, I kind of grabbed one of these wipes when I was like, oh, let me try her wipes. <laughs> and I grabbed one of them, you know, and then I fell in love with it. Like, I just love how soft these are, how calming they are. They are the Neutrogena Night Calming Makeup Wipes. And I know that there's the original version, that are the ones that are blue, but I don't, I don't really like the scent of those. But the scent of this is so calming and i think it has does it have lavender i don't know but this is just this is great it dissolves waterproof mascara so great and i'm gonna show you how good this is to remove makeup too like i love it especially you know for me who does a lot of swatches <laughs> on video this is like amazing like one swipe you know i hate those makeup wipes that you need to keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and it's just like what's the point you're gonna ruin my skin um love these you guys so that's about it when it comes to the best of beauty drugstore guys i enjoyed trying drugstore products and i'm enjoyed even more giving you my recommendations especially for the drugstore right because they don't have testers. I mean, during quarantine, nothing has testers. Or during COVID, nothing has testers this year. But especially traditionally in the drugstore, there there's no testers. So it helps so much to have recommendations. At least I love recommendations from YouTubers or beauty bloggers about drugstore products. Um, thank you guys so much for your support, guys. I wish you a happy new year. Yeah. <laughs> Bowens to say hi. Oh my gosh, look at his outfit, guys. Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, maybe you saw it already, but look at this stretchy outfit. He's my favorite, favorite of 2020 and of all time. <laughs> um, so Bo wants to say happy new year too. Bo and I wish you a happy new year, a happy new year's eve, a really fun new year's eve, even if you just stay home and a happy new year guys i'm so grateful for you guys' support 
thank you guys so much um and i have something for you guys i have a giveaway i know i just did a holiday one but i have a last giveaway a new year giveaway <laughs> and sorry a end of the year giveaway because i'm so grateful for you guys' support and and i just wanted to show you guys how much i care and how much i appreciate you guys and so um i know you guys entered my giveaway in collab with gabby but this giveaway this end of the year giveaway is a separate giveaway congratulations to the winner by the way for the holiday giveaway but this is the end of the year this is an end of the year giveaway from me um and stay tuned for what's in this giveaway so um don't so don't go anywhere <laughs> stay tuned and see what is in this giveaway and i hope you like it and um all you have to do is follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel and comment with what you wish to take with you from 2020 and what you wish to leave behind also tag a friend all right thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys stay tuned for my best of beauty 2020 high-end version bye so you're getting a Ciate London palette, the editor palette. You're getting two of the products that I mentioned today that are part of my drugstore 2020 favorites, the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline and the Liquid Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in Driver. And both of them swatched on this video. And um, you're also getting as part of you know we don't we don't know how 2021 is going to be right like we still have to be preventative and so just add just to add it to your 2021 survival kit a marshmallow fireside hand soap from bath and body works and a blue a pair of cat eye blue light lenses from soho's and i hope you like this so much guys um Really, I just, I'm so grateful. Um, I'm so excited for the community that I've built um, and that you're helping me build here on my channel. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, so the last day to enter will be New Year's Eve and the winner will be announced on my Insta stories on New Year's Day. Good luck.